driver who ran over and nearly killed horror writer Stephen King. I look back and see what happened. I see a man laying there. I never knew who it was. Now he's breaking his silence only to extra. New details on prescription drugs, his driving record. And for the first time, we return to the scene of the controversial accident. Cleveland is right there. Hi, everyone. I'm Dana Devon. Welcome to the weekend edition of Extra. It was a real-life horror story for Stephen King. While walking down a country road in Maine June 19th, King was run down by a motorist. The close call left him severely injured and left many questions about the driver's condition at the time of the accident. Now, that driver is fighting to clear his name, and he's telling his version of the story in this Extra exclusive. Wait, wait, wait. Stephen King, the king of horror, Maine's beloved native son and multi-million dollar author. Brian Smith, a former alcoholic on disability, scraping by in a small trailer deep in the woods. Two men living in the same picturesque Maine town, but worlds apart. On a June afternoon, their lives collided. It was just a accident. Heading to town for groceries from this campsite, Smith was distracted by his dog, Bullet, who was nosing into a cooler. The 42-year-old veered off the road at about 40 miles per hour. I heard a little, a little thumping noise. I had a thumping noise. And, and I said, I bet I hit a deer. But it was no deer. Smith, a man with a checkered driving record, had just slammed his blue van into Stephen King as the author walked along Route 5. King's broken body flew 15 feet into the air and landed just short of this rock wall. And I look back and see what happened. And I know I see a man laying there. I, didn't, I never knew who it was. A passing motorist stopped to help King and sent Smith to this country store to call an ambulance. When Smith returned to the scene, he learned his victim's identity. Oh, I was in shock. I, I, I've been in shock, and I still am today. It still bothers me today. Oh, deeply bothers me. Before the ambulance whisked him away, King spoke to Smith. He told me I was walking a little bit too close to the road. That's all he said. He said he was sorry. And I told him I was sorry, very sorry. King suffered multiple leg fractures, a collapsed lung, and broken ribs. He's endured six surgeries, and he's through apologizing. Now he wants Smith off the road for good. In an interview with a local Maine newspaper, King said, quote, he has no business on the road. He's a danger to himself, and he's a danger to others. Oh, I think I'm a very good driver, very good driver. But Extra found Smith's record is not very good. It's littered with convictions. Drunk driving in 89, two speeding tickets in 88, two more in 94. And the most recent violation? Driving to endanger and failing to stop for an officer's signal in March of last year. And now he nearly kills King. I was straight. I, I, I don't drink. Police agree Smith wasn't drunk, but he was on drugs, six of them. I take Beclavent. I take Ventolin. I take Singola, I take Prozac, I take Valium, and I take Endosets. They're all prescribed for Smith's depression and for the cracked spine he suffered in a construction accident. But Extra spoke to a physician who said Valium alone could impair a driver. Smith says after years of use, he can tolerate the drug cocktail. They have no effect on me driving, no. Smith admits he never even saw the author, but believes King may share some of the blame. The author may have wandered too close to the road because he's known to read a book while walking. All I know that someone said he was, well, was walking and reading. That's all I remember, but I didn't see no book. King admits he was holding a book on that fateful afternoon, but says he wasn't reading it because that stretch of road is full of blind curves. As Smith revisits his campsite by the river, he says it was just an accident, but he's still willing to make some changes to save his license. He promises not to drive with Bullet anymore, and he wants King to know he's truly sorry. I, I, I'm just deeply in my heart. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I really am. Smith says he takes a driver's test once a year because of his condition and has passed every one. A grand jury will convene later this month to decide if any charges will be filed against him.